Good morning, Ingram Leaders. Happy Monday. It is September the 13th, 2021. I hope you had a great weekend. We are looking forward to an awesome week together. I want to share with you some weekly announcements. We're going to start with our safety protocols. I again want to remind all of you that you have to be responsible every day and make sure that you have a mask. And it needs to be a mask that fits correctly over your nose and over your mouth and that you keep it that way throughout the entire day. It's also important that you remember that we keep our distance between ourselves and our friends and our teachers. All of the folks here need to make sure that we are socially distancing throughout the day. Also, if you are sick or have any symptoms of sickness or anyone in your home is sick or getting tested for COVID, you have to stay home. It's really important that we stay away from people in our school if we are not feeling well or someone in our home is not feeling well so that we can make sure we all stay healthy and safe. So please remember those safety procedures. I also want to remind you that at any time that you're traveling in the hallway, our expectation is that you are traveling quietly, that your feet are quiet, you're keeping your hands and your feet to yourself, and you're always facing the front in a nice, neat, straight line. So I'm going to be looking for some great lines in the hallway. So please be sure that you are doing that. If you are traveling in the hallway alone or with a buddy, again, you need to make sure that you are walking, your voices are off, and your bodies are nice and quiet, and you're keeping your hands and your feet to yourself. Whenever you go into the restroom, please be sure that you go in there quickly, you use the restroom, you wash your hands really nicely for 20 seconds, dry them with the paper towel, and make sure that your paper towels and your trash always get into the trash can. So leave the restrooms nice and neat and let your teachers know if there's something in there that needs to be cleaned up that you cannot help us with. Anytime you're out on the playground, I want to remind you that it's really important that you participate in safe play. Please do not put your hands on one another. You need to make sure you respect everyone's personal space. Be sure you are using the equipment correctly. It's really important that we are trying and, and working towards eliminating any possible accidents or injuries on the playground. So only participate in safe play. Look where you're going when you're running. Be sure that you're running in safe areas so that everyone can play and have a good time, but also be very safe. I now want to remind you of some expectations in the classroom. It's very important that you, especially now that we are three weeks into the new school year, that you are doing all that you can to follow the classroom rules and procedures. You need to be sure that you are following directions of your teachers, that you are listening the first time when directions are given, that you are making sure that you are following all of the procedures for movement in the classroom, getting up out of your seat, all of those things that your teachers have explained to you. I expect that you are following those rules every single day. It's also very important that when it's instructional time and not a time for you to be talking with one another, that your voices are off so that you are listening to the material that's being covered. And then when you are working at your desk, that you are putting forth your best effort. And if you have a question and if you're not sure about how to do something, that you are advocating. That's a big word, but it means that you are looking out for yourself and advocating for yourself by asking questions and getting assistance so that you can learn and that you can know the material. Because we know that not everything's going to be easy and we want to help you. So if you are having a hard time, be sure that you are raising your hand and asking for that help as you can get it throughout the day. I want to make sure that you are completing all of your work nice and neatly, that you are doing any homework assignments, that you are reading as much as possible. I love to see so many of you changing books out in the library and always having books in your hands and, and really working hard at being the best readers that you can be. Also practice your math facts at home. Be sure you're reviewing whatever material your teachers are teaching you because we want to make sure you're making lots of growth and progress throughout the year. So continue to think about the goals that you have for yourself, what you're doing to reach those goals, and track your progress towards those goals so that hopefully at the end of the first nine weeks, you are so pleased with yourself and so proud of yourself for all of your hard work and all that you have accomplished because all we ask is that every day you do your personal best. I want to remind you that on the last Thursday of September, and I'm going to pull up the date for that. I didn't tell you last week on September 30th. It's actually the last day of the month of September. So on September the 30th, we want to encourage you to wear blue. This is a reminder that we choose kindness in our thoughts, words, and actions. But we choose kindness every day, not just on the last Thursday of the month. But we do celebrate wearing blue on the last Thursday, and we'll do that to show everyone that we are choosing kindness every day day. We also have picture day coming up the Thursday before that on the 23rd. So we will get you some more information. You do not purchase the pictures before you have your photo taken, but you will want to look your best
podcast on September the 23rd. So I am looking forward to an awesome week this week and you making great choices about your behavior as well as your academics and being the best Ingram Eagles you possibly can be. I forgot to mention and it just dawned on me about our dismissal procedures. I want to remind those of you that are car riders to please be proactive in knowing which number you need to be at, one, two, three, or four. Also, if your teachers give you the slip of paper, please be sure that you do not tear that up, ball that up, play with that, drop it out front. We want to make sure that you are responsible and you keep that with you. And please remember there is no drinking or eating out at car dismissal. And our bus riders, you know the routine. You have to be in a straight line, board your bus, follow your bus driver's directions so that you can get home safely, face the front, keep that mask on, and do not pull out anything you're not supposed to have from your book bag. So we look forward to a great day. Happy Monday, everyone. And don't forget, unleash your potential. We will see you soon.